Hello, this is Bern, and if you ever show up needy with men, and you hate that feeling of being out of control, but you're not understanding how to stop it, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five core reasons why women show up needy with men. So if you want to understand what they are, in case you're falling prey to one of them, stick around. Hello, this is Bern, and welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. On today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you five core reasons why women, men also, show up needy in relationships. So you have a better understanding as to what you're doing and have a chance of turning it around. First reason why, and not in any order of importance, but first reason why women show up needy with men is a fear of abandonment. So here's what happens. You connect to a guy, you like him, you feel chemistry, you feel excitement, and then for whatever reason, he stops showing up strongly with you, or maybe he doesn't text you in a couple of days, or maybe a week, or you feel like he's going away, and all of a sudden, there's a fear that gets triggered inside of you that's like, this guy saw me and he's abandoning me right now. So that almost survival instinct kicks in, and you step into in a way that far away from making it exciting for him to see you pushes him away more. Why? Because if you show up and you and you say, you haven't called me and you haven't done this and like, or, or you show up very insecure, the guy's going to say, whoa, there's a little bit of baggage there. What's going on? Most likely, if there's not enough emotional connection, he's going to get scared. So that's the first reason why you might feel needy, fear of abandonment. Number two is fear of not being enough. This is a fear that every single human being, I'm not sure, I'm, I don't care if you're uh, Richard Branson or, or Mother Teresa or someone who is super insecure. We all have this because it's embedded in our nervous system for survival. Unless you're a psychopath, you have the fear of not being enough. So when you connect with someone and you feel that that person has one up on you, that they're more than you in some way, that they have their shit together and you don't, the fear of not being a good enough match for them makes you show up in ways where you're overcompensating by doing more, saying more, calling them more, texting them more, doing things that put you in their field of vision, almost as if to, to say, well, I'm also as cool as you are. And, and that's the second reason why a lot of women show up as needy in a relationship. The third one is fear of time running out. This is especially true with women, unfortunately. Why? Because biologically, if you want to have children, there is a time limit by which you need to have children or you run the risk of that child having challenges or basically not being able to get pregnant, right? So because there's that real legitimate biological fear of running out, sometimes if you get older and you haven't had the relationship you want, that consistent connection to, if I don't do this right now, if I don't show up right now, if he doesn't, ha it may not ever happen for me, also gets to act in ways that are not healthy for you. Number four is a lack of intensity. So what do I mean by the lack of intensity? Lack of intensity means that you are not experiencing the level of intensity you need to in your life. And when you connect to this man, that man becomes your intensity. That man becomes like if you're like a coasting at a level four or five of life is boring. And then when you connect with him, you go to level 12 because it feels so intense, so magical, so intense and alive. Then when he doesn't show up, if you're not generating that intensity in your life, well, it's almost like your oxygen is being taken away from you and, and you go back, not necessarily for him, but to get your fix for intensity that you're not getting in real life. And the last one is lack of abundance. Number five is if you have gone for a long time without creating the kind of connection you want and you've created the belief that most men out there are, are horrible and they're mean to women and the guy that I exist is one in one billion, all that kind of bullshit. If you ever step into that kind of, not saying that every guy is a match for you, but if you really step into this, like it's almost impossible type of scenario, then you start feeling a lack of abundance. When you start feeling a lack of abundance, here's what happens. You connect to one guy who kind of matches your blueprint of what the guy should be. Then you say, well, I'm going to latch on to this mofo because if I don't, then what's going to happen is I'm going to miss out in life. Not, not because I'm running out of time, but because he's the one specimen of men of the kind that I want. Instead of recognizing that there's multiple soulmates, there's three and a half billion men on the planet. So there's more than just one cool guy that you can connect with. So those, my dear, are the five top reasons why you might be showing up as needed. The antidote, well, we'll create another video for the antidote because there's not enough time for this one, but I'll share one thing with you you can start doing. One thing you can start doing, if nothing else, is to really focus on the intensity you're experiencing in your life. If the intensity in your life 
gets, gets raised, then when someone comes, no matter what challenge you're facing, if that person comes and they go away, the intensity in your life will allow you to take the step back and say, you know what, this is not the end of the world, my life is still pretty awesome. If this is helpful, insightful, and useful for you, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel right now. And number three, on the description of this video, on the first line of the description of this video, I created a training to share with you if you're going through any of these challenges, the way to overcome it is to understand how you can create the kind of connection you want, which is precisely what my video training is for. If you click on that line, you're gonna show up, a page will show up with a little video of mine and then a little yellow tab. Click on that yellow tab, enter your name and email, and you'll start watching a 43 minute masterclass that will guide you on a blueprint of how you can create the kind of connection you want so you never have to face that fear of staying, showing up as needy. Okay, thank you for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.